Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this video, we're going to be breaking down Power Rangers Zeo episode for Target Rangers. Let's get into it, break it down, hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the fan club. It is your boy, Braz, Dan Brosnan, in the building. In this video, we are going to be breaking down Power Rangers Zeo episode for Target Practice, or Target Rangers, sorry, Target Practice. What is the matter with me? This is a fun one, and I love Power Rangers Zeo. Watching every episode brings back some amazing memories. I believe I was in kindergarten when this season came out, and I also remember coming home from school like every day to find out what happened to our Rangers. So let's get into this video. Target Rangers, the fourth episode of Power Rangers Zeo, introduces the Zeo Megazord's formidable Zeo battle helmets and showcases the growing tension between Rocky and Jennifer. The episode begins with the Cogs constructing Silo at the Angel Grove Junkyard, a machine that King Mondo plans to utilize to unleash his power upon the Rangers. Meanwhile at Angel Grove High, Rocky and Jennifer are engrossed in their computer project. Jennifer is giving Rocky the cold shoulder and Rocky just can't figure it out yet. Meanwhile, King Mondo, observing their progress, decides to leverage their software for his own sinister purposes. He dispatches a fleet of cogs to steal the password from their computer, leading to a confrontation between Adam and Rocky, who are forced to morph and engage the cogs in a fierce battle. During the chaos, the cogs manage to snatch the password from Rocky's backpack, allowing them to access their computer and program Silo. Meanwhile, Bulk and Skull, assigned to guard the junkyard, encounter the newly activated Silo, who demands to know the Power Rangers' location, sending them fleeing in terror. At the Power Chamber, the Rangers are alerted to Silo's rampage, which is wreaking havoc upon Angel Grove. The Zeo Battle Helmets, designed by Billy, prove their worth in an ensuing battle, allowing the Rangers to defeat Silo and stop King Mondo's plans. The episode concludes with Rocky attempting to ask Jennifer to the school dance, only to be met with frustration over his carelessness in losing the password. Jennifer, overwhelmed by her academic pressure and her desire to secure a scholarship, reluctantly declines, highlighting the challenges she faces as she navigates her personal life amidst academic pursuits. Target Rangers underscores the evolving dynamics between the Rangers, the ever-present threat of King Mondo, and the introduction of the powerful Zeo battle helmets, marking a pivotal step in the Zeo Rangers' fight for Angel Grove. This was a good episode, and I don't know why Jennifer had to give Rocky such a cold shoulder. She was so mean to this guy. But at the end, she did apologize and told him she had a lot on her mind. She's trying to get this scholarship and she's super stressed. But she didn't have to be a jerk to our boy like that. But you know what? We're glad that she kind of apologized and started to treat the homie right. But let's get into some notes. Tracy Belushi, who appeared in this episode as Jennifer, previously appeared in the show as Zarius in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, A Friend in Need. Also, this episode marks the first face-to-face -face encounter between the Power Rangers and King Mondo. According to the credits, the episode was filmed around December 14, 1995, which is about two and a half weeks after Mighty Morphin's Rangers in Reverse aired. Wow, so it seemed like the Rangers did get a little bit of break for like the Alien Rangers and then they were back shooting. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. Shout out all of the fans out there. I thought this was a very good quality episode. I like the battle helmets too. I thought it was cool that each Ranger had their own special like finishing move, if you will. It was awesome. 
But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can make content like this. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, the Arctic Operator, Salima Ramirez, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, Anime King Nick, Lewis Cairns, Austin White, and Papillon Purple. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, hit that share button. And if you can, please sign up to be a member today. We have three membership power-ups. We have the Gold Ranger power-up, the most popular. You get into our exclusive fan club chat group. We have fan exclusive videos that we are adding monthly now. And you get a video shout out. Yes, folks, at the end of our videos, I will shout out your name. We also have the Quantum Ranger power up where you get monthly meetings online with me. Yes, folks, we will talk once a month on Zoom and you can give me your ideas for future episodes. And then we have a professional package, the Dr. K power up that is for businesses that want to tap into the platform. If you guys can, please sign up to be a member today. It is highly appreciated and it helps us keep these videos going. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. We, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the Fine Club, Club to say, say something funny. funny.